Hi everyone, so for today's Black History Month segment we'll be focusing on Lennox Lewis. Um, obviously Lennox Lewis is a name which everyone knows, he's one of the most successful heavyweight boxers in history, let alone British history. But one thing that I've noticed is that his contribution to black history is something that doesn't go seen very often or doesn't get reported on very often. He was a huge role model for black people when he was obviously boxing, um, but also after that he's opened up schools in East London to give more opportunities to black students. Um, he's been uh, recognised by the OBHS, so, he's, so he has contributed towards black history but like I said it's something where you think about Lennox Lewis and you don't tend to think about what he meant for um, society around that sort of time and um, whereas when you think about people like Muhammad Ali for example of course that was a huge part of what he did over in America so I think it's just worth highlighting that Lennox Lewis has got quite a lot to do with um, black history and is still having quite a lot to do with black history so I'm not going to include a link for Lennox Lewis because but most people know who he is already anyway um, it seems pointless but what I would suggest is go in and look up Lennox Lewis and what he's contributed towards um, black history because you might be quite surprised but anyway cheers Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. So today we're going to be looking at Aaron Wan-Bissaka. So Aaron Wan-Bissaka is a, uh, well, obviously he's a right back at Man United. Don't really know why that needed an introduction. So in real life, Wan-Bissaka is someone that you associate more with tracking back, with making tackles, but not really with the sort of the forward, the forward side of the game and someone that doesn't really get that involved in, in attacking that well. I would argue that his crossing is actually something that's quite underrated. I think in real life he actually can cross the ball decent, but obviously he's nowhere near, near the level of like Trent Alexander. Alan Arnold and you know, other players in that position who are also English who are also in the Premier League. Yeah, okay, he's ain't got that. He hasn't got that level of skill compared to the rest of them. But his tackling and his defensive work is probably some of the best in the league. So I was interested to see what his card would play like. So his pace, as you can see on here, is is very good. 86. Obviously, it's not the the level of a Davies kind of card, where it's not 96. It's not blistering, but it is still very good. And given that a lot of forwards on this game have had pace de decreases. Aaron Basaka can definitely keep up with people, so you've got that in the bag. With his 80 dribbling, you get 85 agility, which is obviously something that is incredibly useful as a fullback. You, that means you can track your runs with Aaron Basaka um, a lot better than you could do with others. So really good agility, decent reactions, 82, decent dribbling, 82 as well. Once he's got the ball, he can actually dribble with the ball, um, and you don't need to worry too much about like, losing it. Defensive stats, very very solid for a, a right back. Obviously, defensive stats are important, but for fullbacks, you tend to find they have a blend of both and Ram has got really really solid defensive uh, stats especially that sliding tackle 90 sliding tackle so yeah if you need to put in a few blocks while sliding he's definitely a guy to stop some crosses and um, physical physical is okay stamina is quite low 79 is quite low for a fullback um, and at 62 jumping I mean yeah he's not gonna win any balls in the air so if crossing becomes a meta in this game yeah you're gonna seriously struggle strength and aggression is actually all right for a fullback it means that he can stop most wingers in the game so yeah that looks decent um, and then I mean passing as we said earlier he's not well known for his uh, forward game so you can expect that passing to be quite low 68 as a face card is very low um, but yeah crossing 74 short passing 74 vision 64 so he's not going to be as well known for his forward play we'll see so yeah i'll get into some clips so in these clips i mean in the first clip you'll see it's Aaron basaka scoring a goal now i kept this one in just because it's funny and he that is not something you can expect from an Aaron Wan basaka card he is not going to go forward and score you goals however what he does do really well, and I'll keep some some clips in of this, is he's really good at playing almost like a sweeper centre back. I never I never actually tried playing him a centre back, but what he did really well was doing this sort of thing, collecting balls that were spread out to the opponent's wingers, gathering balls really quickly, that agility and that acceleration really helping him pick up balls that are sort of running adrift. Um, he was very, very good at doing that. So you can see here, he gets the ball quickly and distributes quickly, whereas a lot of slow players, especially centre backs, you might struggle with. One thing I just kept in in that last clip was him just being able to sort of shield your opponent and keep them away. So here, look, he just puts in the tackle and he just sort of does he does the work there again look you can see his, his agility and his acceleration coming into play um, and also his ability to dribble so he's actually able to to retain the ball like here and just give the ball straight away and not lose like lose possession what I actually found myself having to do though was play on squad battles and yes this is all on legendary um, I'm not gonna give you clips of me just spanking some professional level team um, so yeah, so what I had to do is to show you guys some of, of his actual crossing, I had to play on squad battles. Um, now, as you can tell by me just purely saying that, you should not expect Wan-Bissaka to 
be any sort of attacking positioning. His attack positioning is really low as it is, um, but he will not really be in attacking areas for you. If you put him in there, if you put him in attacking areas, I actually think he does all right. I mean, you can see from these, some of these clips, he's really quick. He's really, really quick, and his balling, his, his balls in are actually all right. Um, they're definitely not the level of some of the top wingers in the game, like your Hazards and players like that, and, and, and um, Bernardo Silvers. They're not as good as that, um, but they're all right, and they do do the job. And I think his his actual agility and his sort of a little bit of strength and a little bit of um, a little bit of like almost like aggressive play works quite well for you to run forward with him. Um, so yeah, I, I would actually suggest trying to get forward with him a little bit more. He he doesn't really lose the ball that often. So I think you're fine. And then his recovery speed is very, very strong. One thing that people are struggling to do on this game is defend. And wan is actually able to defend very, very well. Um, but he is actually also able to track back very well because just purely because he's so quick. Um, and I will keep some of the instances in there where I feel like he should have done a little bit better. So that in that clip just gone, um, I thought he should have passed the ball a little bit better. But you can see here, look, you can see how quick he is. I mean, yeah, okay, this is against the squad battles team, which I am annihilating. And yes, he did miss that horrific shot. Um, that's what I mean. Just don't expect him to get forward that well for you. But he's still very, very quick, and he still does all right if you're passing the ball. I wouldn't suggest shooting with him. But here you go again, seeing him get forward. Um, you can see here this is 8-0 on Legendary on Squad Battle. So you can see that he actually does get forward quite well. So that leads me then to some of his ratings. So ratings wise, um, technically I'm going to be giving him a 6 out of 10. Now obviously that is quite low. Um, like I said, he, I wouldn't really expect him to get forward for you and do loads of damage. You know, he, he, he doesn't really tend to get forward very often at all. However, technically dribbling wise, he's very, very strong. So he doesn't really, he deserves to be above average, but not much more than that at all. Um, his crossing's okay. Um, his shooting is absolutely abysmal, but his dribbling is pretty good. So technically, he can he can get a six out of ten. That's fine. Tactically, I would actually give him an eight point five out of ten because defensively, he is always where you need him to be. At least he was for me. He was pretty much always where you needed him to be. Um, except attacking wise, which is why he's not getting higher. He was absolutely fine positionally, and I don't tend to expect just the way I play. I don't tend to expect my fullbacks to be making loads of bombs forward. I prefer for them to be, play a little bit more cautiously and stay back. Um, however, on this FIFA, I have actually tried getting my fullbacks forward on, on rivals and on squad battles, and that actually seems to work really well. So it might be something you want to try, and if he, if you are doing that, I wouldn't suggest wan as your fullback. You might want a more attacking option, someone like João Cancelo or something like that, um, or Pereira um, as your fullback instead of wan if you're doing that. But Physically, I mean, he's rapid, so he's got that. He's got decent strength, so he's got that. Jumping lets him down a little bit, so I'd probably give him an 8 out of 10 for that. Um, I think he's he's got the, the very, very good physical stats for this stage of the game, but I can see him getting very quickly overpowered by some... Uh, a couple of informs or some or some more decent players. I can I can almost see him actually if, if a striker tries to drift wide, I can see him getting overpowered very, very quickly. So um, I didn't come up against many people who are playing two up front at the minute, whereas I know that's becoming a meta um, from what I've seen from people. So yeah, so just an, a, keep an eye on that. Mentally, yeah, he's, he's very, very good. Um, I've not had any problem with him actually giving the ball away late game or um, struggling a little bit to, to keep up the pace um, in any game really so I'd keep him up mentally at a 8.5 I think that's probably one of his best stats is that he feels very consistent um, it's very consistently bad going forward very consistently good staying back so yeah mentally we'll get a very high score so that leads to the value and ability so value wise Bearing in mind you've got players like Chao Cancelo, who is also like an, an 83 rating. You've got Kyle Walker, um, you've got Pereira, who are higher rated than, than wan -Bissaka. Um Going for the similar sorts of prices, in, in Jao Cancelo's case, pretty much half the price is 18k. Our wan currently is going for 31k. Value-wise, he is cheap, actually, for a very good defender, but compared to some of the options you have out there, he's actually quite expensive. And plus, he's English and playing for Man United. 
and there aren't that many decent options defensively to him. Um, Rashford is also on the left-hand side and there's not any good right wingers from Man United um, or even in England for that matter and there's, that's, there's no strong link really that's decent there so value-wise I'm going to have to give him no more than 7.7 .7, I think out of 10 purely because as a player he is worth it. If you're building a Premier League team he's worth it but if you're trying to do any more than that you're going to start to struggle with him. Um, so yeah so, so that's the value uh, rating and then ability rating I'm giving him an 8.6 because ability wise for me he was very very good um, far better than actually I expected him to be and he's staying in my team probably for quite a while yet um, he felt very meta he felt very good at cutting out balls if even if he's got his back to the ball he's very good at sort of turning and, and, and catching the ball before it goes past him he's very good at tracking back so yeah ability wise he's going to get a very strong score but um, I'd only really recommend him if you are building a Premier League team or if you have icons with the ability to actually link to somewhere else without needing that sort of strong link in with him but yes that's the review for Aaron Wan-Bissaka thanks guys see ya